G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Oblivion Mage playthrough. When last we left off, we got a level, we just enchanted another ring. Um, I do need to think about spellcrafting as well, don't I? How much money do I have? 500 gold. Alrighty. Um, the last spell that I created... Um, the last destruction spell that I created was the element 12, which costs, cost me currently 15. I think it cost me 18 originally, but as my levels of destruction have gone up, the cost has crept down a little bit. Um, so that's doing 12 points of damage per hit. Uh, maybe we want to go a little bit higher than that, but the problem is, how much higher how quickly now we can add other effects in um i see a lot of people uh that talk about doing things like um i don't have any of them yet Yeah, but you can get you can get some effects such as uh, weakness to magic or weakness to the various elements, frost, fire, shock. And I see people talking about adding those to the spell. So you put them at the start of the spell and then you put the damage after it. And you only need to have those things to say, well, be weak to fire for one second because that's how long you've got the spell to work for. Um... Yeah, it, it doesn't end up working very well. At least I don't think it does. Uh, and then there's things that you can do that you can do paralysis or burden. Burden is a really good one, they reckon, to add um, because if you give a, a large enough burden to them, uh, to your opponent, they can't move. And so it's, it works the same as a paralysis but doesn't cost as much magicka, etc. Let's have a look. So we went... Fire damage target for four points. And then we went frost target for four points. And then we went shock on target for four points. And that is costing us 15. Now, that's only doing 12 damage. What if we go... say seven points each that's 34 magicka for 21 damage it's almost double the damage and it's a little bit more than double the magicka now here's something else that we could do See, rather than going seven points for one second on the target, if we instead go three points for two seconds, that is reduced the cost. So what we might be able to do so four damage for two seconds that's 24 points of damage and it's 33 mm, that really didn't work out all that well Because that only that added from the seven points of damage each, we've added a few points of damage, but it co it's overall it's cost us a couple of more points of magic. Uh, this requires a scruption skill of twenty five. That's fine. We've got that. So what if?
three nines are 27. Yeah. Whereas if I just went Oh yeah, no. Adding spreading it over time does help. Five points for two seconds. Five points for two seconds. Five points for two seconds. Now here's the actually here's another thing that we can do. That's 36. Let's let's consider this though. Let's not do a duration on the frost and the shock. That's doing 20 points damage overall for 29 Magicka. Personally, I... I prefer it was doing more shock damage. What? Am I reading that right? Oh no, that was the same. I thought it I thought it it um I thought it hadn't worked out that way. 29 Magicka. 20 points of damage. Elemental 20. That is going to be our new number one spell. What have I got in the three slot at the moment? The weak fire. Oh, I've got two copies of the weak fireball, one and two. Okay, that's 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 cool. That's cool. Uh, so let's take one. And that's elemental 12. Let's put that in our two slot just in case. In case this is not working very well. All right. We have a new spell. And I also did say, I, I, I looked at this earlier. Um, okay, Bound Dagger. How, what is it going to take to get 30 seconds of Bound Dagger? It's 35. And does that require, it doesn't require Conjuration of 50 yet. I think it was like 44 or something was the best I could get without it going to 50. Yeah, 44. And that uses 52 Magicka. I think I'm going to do that. That's a lot of Magicka at this point in the game. It's about what, a fifth of my Magicka. And then I also want to create, um, I want a light spell on self, magnitude, say 40, for 60 seconds. I think if I wanted to make this also do detect life, it was going to require mysticism no, hang on. Um, detect life, magnitude 40. Now, is it the magnitude? Or is it the duration? That was going to, to blow that out. Yeah. Um, so, if we... Wow. 
What is it? Where do we? Thirty-two seconds. So let's match the light. No. To that. See all forty thirty-two. Let's try that. Uh, as our number yeah our number six and then we had the bound dagger 44 we'll make that our number five now and then For the moment, anything. I just want something on that number four spot to, to get rid of the bound dagger that was on there. All right. So. Light and detect life. Bound dagger that lasts for 30-odd seconds. And then... My big, bad damage spell. Oh, I think we are set. Okay, I did say that I've got a lot of stuff to sell, don't I? Yep, I do. Uh, I did. I wanted to keep those. Why did I not? I was going. I think I was going to enchant them. Let me uh, put those away. Even though I don't like the pants all that much, maybe I can find some some decent boots to wear with them. Um. Swapping between games. Getting used to the different uh, controls. I don't care about any of that. Those leather braces, I think, are almost unique in the game because they're not like the normal leather gauntlets that you get. If I remember rightly. Um, yep, I think we want to get rid of everything else that's, or sell everything else that's here. Done that. Uh, Okay, we've done all of that. Uh, put the Vala Stone away, and we want to put away all but three of our Welkin Stones, because we don't need to carry a huge lot on us. This thing, I don't know whether to keep it or sell it, to be honest. I'm going to keep it for now, but we'll probably end up selling it later, because we have no use for it. Um... What was I... There was something I was just thinking of. We do have to go and get this repaired. It is 7.55 a.m. All right. Imperial City, we know we need to uh, pick up our enchanted staff so let's do that because it'll definitely be ready by now i know you're busy but i need a moment of your time i've got a moment but little more what do you need do you remember that <laughs> Welcome there you are. to the Cairo. Yes, it's all finished. It's in that cupboard back in the corner. Uh, uh, he ends up dying later on. Uh, I don't like the white robes, but um, I think he has a hood eventually that he doesn't wear or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, Major Staff of Shock. It does 40 points of damage. Which is more than anything else that I've got. So maybe I should keep it on me. Rather than always selling it. 
Okay, let's find bugger lugs. Well met, guildmate. And find out what our next task Hello, apprentice. is. Uh, and then we'll go and sell stuff. And of course, he is not here. Um, but we do remember from the last episode that he always turns up about nine o'clock rather than eight o'clock. Yep, there he is. I have a new task. Uh, advancement. In accordance with guild rules, you now qualify for the rank of journeyman. May you hey. your rank well. We don't get any extra gear or anything this time. The council is investigating what happened at Wellspring Cave. Many of our resources are devoted. There is a related book that needs to be recovered. It was recently loaned to Janice Hasseldor, the Count of Skingrad. I'd like you to retrieve it. I understand this may not seem the most important of tasks, but still, a note of caution. Skin. Okay, so... The Count is a reclusive man, and sometimes difficult to see. Hopefully, speak with the castle steward when you are... The city lies south... Yeah, I know where Skingrad is. Good day. Indeed, good day. Okay, so, sell up, and while we're doing that, I will talk about this quest. Well, I'll talk about a couple of things. Um, this quest is interesting because... Um, the Count is a vampire, uh, which we will soon, well, we actually don't have to talk to him about it, we don't have to acknowledge it at all, but he is. Okay, let's get rid of all of that. That's... You go. You. One thing we're going to do, this was the other thing I was going to talk about. One thing we're going to do just before we go to Skingrad is we're going to uncover a couple of locations. An excellent. Which will help us. I don't know why this cure poison is there. I've never actually, I don't remember ever actually An being poisoned. Maybe that's what it is when I've lost an ability like that, and that's what I should be doing is drinking those poison potions. I don't know. It's just so easy to go to a shrine and get it taken that's care of that it doesn't feel like a it's good, worth it a good to have a potion there for that's that. I even don't really need the cure disease ones. I'm going to get rid of that as well. It is just so easy to, to recover all of that. And I don't need that. Beautiful. Come back. Goodbye. Please come again. Okay, so there are a bunch of way shrines to the various Aedra around. And I want to uncover two of the really close ones for um Julianos. Okay, so let's go to Wellspring, the outside of Wellspring Cave first. And... That's fun. I mistakenly yeah, hit his horse. Bye. All right, as I was saying, down this way, we will come across 
a way shrine of Julianos. Now, this will do two things for us. One, it should cure our... Um, so tempting to clear that out. Reasonably happy with the amount of damage that's doing and the fact that um, it's not using up massive amounts of my Magicka. But speaking of Magicka, I'm going to finally finish what I was saying a minute ago. And what we are going to do is just down here along the road is a Way Shrine of Shulanos, which will cure us of our little affliction that we've got and at the same time will give us a blessing for uh, 10 minutes of real time. Um, that will increase our intelligence and our magicka. Where are we? A little bit further. I believe that is it just there. And then there's another one on the e on the western side of the Imperial City that we're also going to go to and uncover just so that we can fast travel back to these at any point should we need to. I thought this was on the other side of the road. But... No, that's an alien well. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, this bandit dude. Where'd your weapon go? Right uh, there. It's essentially junk. Where is this? Well, I thought it was just here somewhere. So many beasties around. That must be it there. We've got a wolf just over here. Oh, that has to be a, I think I call him a timber wolf, and like the next level of wolf. Uh, yeah, because he did not go down as easily as the other wolf. Yes, Julianus or Julianus or whatever it is. Did that get rid of my afflictions? It did, and my so it's given me a bonus to intelligence of ten points. That itself should increase my magic up by twenty points, and then it also gives me another. 10 point bonus to Magicka. So right now my Magicka is 307. We should actually be able to see all of that here. Um, you know, it's 27. Yeah, that, that, that all makes sense. So normally, without this bonus, um, we would have 277 Magicka.
Is that right? Anyway, I'm not complaining. That's a good number. So that's... Oh, you're, t you're kidding me. There's no... There's no marker on the map for that. That's a nuisance. What I should have done is found another location nearby that I could fast travel to and then walk from there. Um, well, there is Fort McGear. Do I have Fort McGear marked? That one there. But it's, it's quite a way from there. There's actually a cave just down the road here a little bit. Um, that I could have gone to. I might just go back there in a moment after I've no found this one. Um, this is northwest of the little farm here, so it's got to be fairly close, from what I recall. Remember rightly, it's sort of just down here somewhere. No, I'm not remembering rightly. For some reason I can't step over that rock. Where was it? It's somewhere around here. Now the, the wiki tells me that it's northwest. Hang on, I've got another map open. Pretty sure that's it. Now that's an alien well. Hang on. There was... Uh, immediately west... Oh! Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Back to the stables. It's on the same island. That's right, it is too. It's on the same island as... There it is, right there. I wish you could put your own waypoints on the map. Now, there's not really much sense in... Oh, that didn't last very long at all. Why did that disappear? It was supposed to last for like 10 minutes. Is it because of the fast travel? Now it's not doing it. Oh, I've got to... You're kidding me. I've got to be... I've got to... I can only use that certain number of times. So basically I have to raise my fame or infamy um, before I can use it again. Well, that's going to be a right royal pain in the buttocks, isn't it? Anyway, off to Skingrad, I suppose. I was hoping I could use that more often. The, the uh, wiki didn't talk anything about the fact that you have to, uh, that you can only use them a certain number of times. Uh, 
There is a very, supposedly a very powerful spell you can get if you visit all of the way shrines. Pilgrim's Grace. Fortify all attributes by 10 points for 300 seconds. Oh, it's not too bad. All right. So, his grace, as we said, is a vampire. But he also doesn't really want to talk to us. Or you'll a see. bird told me that you've been asking around town about Glarther, a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. Um, that's the idiot that I don't want to talk to. Let me give you some advice. Glarther is crazy. So far, harmless crazy. But I keep an eye on him because it's my job to. You don't want to get involved with him. I don't, I don't. care how much he's paying you. It isn't worth it. He isn't paying me. Like I said, he's crazy. Yes. And you're courteous enough to tell the truth. I'll do the same by trusting you to talk to a guard. He asks you to do anything strange. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I was just waiting for the count to appear. I'm Hal Lears, Count Skingrad's steward. The I'm afraid that's not my arena. You too. Yes, the Major's Guild, you say? Oh, the Count is quite aware of your presence here. He simply has no interest in granting you an audience at this time. Now that I've seen you myself, I can't say that I blame him. Nevertheless, I shall endeavor to change his mind on the subject. Return tomorrow. Perhaps he will see you then. Fine. So, seeing as we can't see him today... Let's go and do this other dungeon that I mentioned over here. First things first, there should be an imp flying around outside this place. Hmm. All right. Well, no sign of him. This cave is not important for any reason, by the way. It doesn't contain um, any particular relics like uh, Welkin stones or anything like that that I am looking for. It just happens to be a cave that I normally do fairly early on. And so I wanted to do it again. Okay, we've got... Missed. Somehow missed again. And again. There we go. Oh, you're over there. How did you get all the way over there? There you go. There's still one over there. Yeah. 
for there was. All right, uh, did I search you? I did. I don't even remember that I did that, even though it was literally like 10 seconds ago. Uh, we need more light. And... Oh, that's all my Magicka. Hurry up and come back, please, Magicka. Okay, we can't get out that way. I knew that was going to happen. Not a big deal. the super spell for that guy. Also did not expect that to be a rat. I expected that to be another imp. Uh, let's heal while we can. Go. Run out of the light. Again. Back to our good spell. Quick save because I haven't done that in a while and it feels like I'm going to have troubles if I don't. Like there's normally um, an imp in here as well. I don't know why I grabbed that, and that is not worth taking. Okay. Hmm. That's normally another imp as well. I wonder if the imps are a little bit uh, resistant to shock. Maybe I'll switch to the other. No, they're taking a lot of those hits as well. really want the iron boots, but the rest of it I'll take. Ace Ring of Frost Shield. Alright. If I was in any way worried about frost damage, that would would seem like a really nice spell to take. You know what? I don't know that I ever recall that chest being there. How many times have I done this this dungeon and not realised that that was there? Maybe I do realise it was there, but part of me doesn't realise it was there. Where was he? There he was. Very good.
hard to hit when they're up there. So I'll uh, I'll get them to uh, come out and attack me this way. Save again, because. Now my health is a little bit low, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Another one behind him. Sometimes there's a rat around here somewhere. It's heal. If it was critical that I had a full magicka right now, I could use one of my Welkin stones, but it's not critical. only leads back to the balcony where those two imps were that I avoided and I jumped up there and grabbed the stuff off that little plinth or pillar or whatever you want to call it. Just get a bit of help. Some conjuration going as well. Yeah, I was going to say, I think there's usually like one in here. That's the end of this dungeon. Pretty much. Just a few things to search. A couple of miscellaneous weapons to pick up. To sell. And then we come out this door here, and we are back to where that boat was. And I think I've gone the wrong way again. Hello. Right. There's our conjuration increase. So there was one direction we didn't go up here. And that is this tunnel here. This guy who's laid out on a rock. Looks like he's there to be sacrificed, if, if anything. Um, now, if you want to spend the time you can grab all of these skeletons and drag them all over there using the Z key the you know the Z and um, if you do that there is a, it's hard to see with the light of this spell but there's a whole bunch of gold coins 
scattered across the ground over there. There's, there's probably about 20 of them. Um, but it is so hard to pick them up unless you drag each one of those bodies away. I can grab one of them there. You can see the others there at the moment. Um, I just, I never bother with it. It's, it's too much of a hassle. Well, I, I have bothered with it in the past. Um, several times, in fact. On streams and maybe even on other YouTube videos, etc. But I'm not going to do it right now because it's, it's not worth it. I should. I think I should look at making a higher level restoration spell as well. Um, I feel like that is something that I should be considering. I don't think the day is completed. So if we go back to skin grab, we're going to have to wait for the night time anyway. How about we go to Frostcrag. I feel like we're probably close to a level two. Oh no, we're not that close. That's something else I considered doing. Um, there's a certain place in the game, I mentioned earlier that um, the guy in the Imperial College is giving us the quests at the moment. He gives us a spell later on called Mage's Fury at a certain point, but it's a leveled spell, so it depends on what level you are as to how powerful that spell is when he gives it to you. And I felt like what I would like to do at some point is just do a few little things to get some levels so that when I next, when I do get that spell from him, maybe I can get the next version of it. But the interesting thing, what I thought I would do is just wander the roads uh, between all the major cities, right? So, you know, start at the Imperial City here, do a complete circuit of this road that, that loops all the way around the outside and then branch out and follow the road that goes to Coral and then follow the road from Coral that comes up here and meets up and comes up to Bruma and then follow that road and just follow all of these roads that are in the, the area. And that'll actually uncover a whole heap of things along the roadside that I could also go and do if I wanted to, to try and get some more levels. Um, problem is, at the moment, I don't remember um, exactly where it is that um, in the quest, in the college quest line, the Mage Guild quest line, exactly where it is that I get that spell. So I have to be careful that I don't progress too far and get given that spell earlier than I want. Excuse me. Now, restore health on self. Ah, that's right. You can do it. Okay, look at this. So I think it's, let's have a look at the moment. The spell that I've got at the moment on self for heal minor wounds does eight points. Right. So consider that. We, ha we currently have 116 points of health. Which means, you know, you're looking at, you know, about 15 casts from almost dead to full. So eight points isn't a lot. It's not even 10%. Um, so, restore health, self. Let's... Just go to like 24 now. 35 requires 50. 34. 
Hang on, did I? So I can restore 25 points on self for one second duration for a cost of 55 Magicka. But what happens if I want that over two seconds? That requires more Magicka. All right. So what if I say 20 points for two seconds? That's 40 points. That still requires more Magicka. Oh, not more Magicka, it requires a higher skill. 15 points. No. 14. I can do 14. That's 28. That's more than it was. And it requires 52 Magicka. Which is about the same. Can I do 10 for 30? That's, that's 30 points, but it's over three seconds. But I think that's a better way to go because four of those casts could get me from dead to, to full. So... Let's just call it heal. I hope I understand that that's 30 over 3 seconds, not 30 times 3 seconds. And let's make that our default healing spell now. Okay, that's in our 8th slot. Um, I don't suppose we've got any... We've got a common soul gem with nothing in it. Alright, we'll sell that. Um, hang on. Is there anything else we want to keep? No, no, no. I don't like these pants because they're... Yeah, not me. No. Definitely not. Ah, another ring to keep. Okay. White Mage's shoes. I might keep them. I don't know why. Uh, those are the boots we want to wear. And I haven't used my staff yet. I think I'm going to keep it here and not use it. It is like a... Uh, oh crap weapon. But... No, not for me. That can be enchanted later. Some spare shoes. And there was nothing else here. One AM. Skin Grad Majors Guild. Wait here till morning, go outside to the really good shop, sell everything, and then go and see the count. Go ahead. What can I interest you in? That's a... Fine. A good you 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 well, that seems a fair price. That's a fair deal.
Platz auf. You've made a... That's more than I'd usually pay. A ple... Goodbye. Right. What is it now? You there. The Count has agreed to see you, but not here. He wishes to meet you south of the Cursed. It would be wiser. Follow the road west. I'm How can I help you? What's new with you? They say so All right. So, we need to meet there. So let's just go to the stables. Going to end up wasting an entire day standing around here, but that's okay. Gets it done nice and quick. Might do a full save. Uh, no. That's fine. Um, so 12, 15 hours. No, I think I need to do one more. No, no. No, one more hour. Yep. Just going to wait for this guy to walk away enough that he's not going to be in this battle. I think he's going to get past them. I don't really want his sheep causing trouble either. All right. Well, well. You're late, mage. I'm afraid I misled you. The count... We're not... Fool. What possessed you to think I would suggest a meeting here, of all places? At least your gullibility served some useful purpose. I knew about Makeda, but not his friends. Now none of them are a threat any longer. Do you not recognize a necromancer when you see one? I suspected Makeda. Despite what your counsel may think, Tell your council that the next... Yes, I see that now. Perhaps in the future. Now our business here... Alright. I'm going to leave it here. And in the next episode, we will finish this quest and keep going. But that's a good place to stop. So, thank you all for joining me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now.